Hello and welcome to this video tutorial. This tutorial is a little bit unique. I've actually split it up into two different videos. The first video, we're going to take a look at the general idea of search queries, how you can drill down on the information to find out what keywords your website shows up on. The second video is going to show you how you can use those search queries to grow the impression rate and ultimately the amount of traffic that comes to your website. So this video is about general ideas around how the search query function works and the video below this one if you're on the Webwonks campus, if you're not make sure you sign up to our free campus, the video below this one is going to show you how to implement a linking strategy that leverages the keywords that you already show for. Right now we're logged into the Implant Solutions slash Dental Artistry Webmaster Dashboard. They have more than one site, so they see both of those in the one-stop shop. Makes the most sense. If they had a third site, they would see that in here. We're going to take a look at the Implant Solutions search queries. So we're going to click through to the website. And once we've done so, we can then click through to search queries. We can either do that inside the dashboard or on the left hand navigation we can drill down traffic and then click on search queries. Okay, so the search queries that you're going to see are going to be for the past 30 days and you can expand that out to be the last three months by clicking on the date drop down and tracking back. So we can track back to the 26th of February. Now unfortunately you can't go back any further, so if you are getting a regular online WAF report, you will be able to see any months further back than three. We now see that over the past three months there's been 105 queries. These are the queries down the side here on the left hand side. There have been 5,500 impressions, we see the impressions in this column, 320 clicks, in the next column across, We've got the click-through rate, which is the number of clicks to the number of impressions, and then the average position for the keyword. So if we take the top keyword, Implant Solutions, this is what I'd call a branded keyword. It's the name of the company. Implant Solutions, the name of the company and the name of the domain. So when someone's searching for Implant Solutions, the likelihood is that they already know the company they're looking for. The second Query down is dental implants. This is a trade keyword. A keyword that a user knows they want information on, but they don't know the branded keyword name. So for the branded keyword, we show up in roughly third spot. And for the trade keyword, we show up in 14th spot. We want that 14th spot to eventually be third spot. Just a quick note. If we look at the Implant Solutions query inside of Google, we find that the result comes up in first place. And there is an ad below. The reason it's saying that it's in third spot, and on average, is because there is advertising above the name. Some of Implant Solutions competitors will use Implant Solutions as an advertising keyword and it will pop up the top there. So it's a little bit frustrating when that happens to a client or if it happens to you, but that's why it is showing up above. Generally, however, it's the first spot as we can see on the search engine now. So you can track down this table and you can see the queries, the impression that they have received in the past date range, remember that were in the past three months, the number of clicks, the click through rate and the average position. You can then, if we go back to, and I'm just going to get the last 30 days, so that this makes it nice and easy, we can click on with change. So we can see what is the change in the past period. So in the past month, we've had a 36% increase in the amount of clicks, and that's a 10% increase in the click-through rate. Just down, it was in 2.8 now, it's just in 2.9. Uh, and there is an 18% decrease in the impressions. So what that means is that the click-through rate is higher with higher clicks even though the impression rate's gone down. And you can go through all your 
queries to find this information. I'm just going to track back to basic and get that information. So we're giving you a general idea of how the queries can be absorbed, what the impression rate, the clicks, the click through rate and the average position is going to be for each of these. Right, so currently we are seeing queries for all of the website traffic. If we click on filter, we can now drill down and say we only want the image queries and we only want in New Zealand to see those queries. So if we click apply, we'll now see that we've gotten 64 queries for 600 and the numbers aren't looking as great. So that means that for images, people aren't searching as much. If we look at the filters and go to web and stay within New Zealand, we will see that Implant Solutions is in first spot with a very high 73% click-through rate and that for dental implants within New Zealand they're actually showing up in by and large the, the fifth or sixth spot. So when we were looking at all of the world, we didn't have any filters, we were just showing all locations and just where we were in third spot and that's again probably because there's advertising but as the data is maybe showing us here, because we're looking at global, the clicks aren't that great. If we track down and just show New Zealand, all of a sudden, our numbers look a heck of a lot better. So this is what you wanna do. You wanna look at the search queries and you wanna use the filters. You wanna go, all right, I'm looking and you'll see the piece of the pie here that's showing where the where is the most of your traffic coming from for Implant Solutions, it's image and most probably it's the United States because when we looked at it a moment ago in New Zealand it wasn't getting very much so web in New Zealand is, is working quite well use the filter to drill down on the traffic that you're receiving and you will see a little bit better what your data is doing so this is a very valuable tool I'm gonna to leave it at that I'm gonna say if you have any questions about this video leave a comment on the bottom of the tutorial page, Facebook, Google+, YouTube, all those great places. Watch the video below because we're going to leverage these queries by linking back to a particular page on our website. So really watch that video. That video is one of the most important videos on the Webwonks campus. Okay? So make sure you watch it. Thanks for watching.